Hey, I'm back today, part three, very looking forward to this, with Miriam, Star Connections. Miriam. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, so this was very nice to, to make another part, part three. And um, I'm just going to re uh, recap a little bit from last week and um, yeah I also made a mistake because I used Google Translate but we'll get to that okay uh, let's see and you've even been doing there. more work for it haven't you sorry you even done more work on it well I just added a few more slides to it and I made uh, uh, old Amsterdam West Friesland part three because Amsterdam used to be part of West Friesland. It was quite a large um, uh, part, actually half of the whole, uh, half of Holland. But yeah, uh, can you see the screen sharing? I can. It could be a, bit, a little bit bigger though. Okay, now it's uh, full screen. That's it, that's perfect. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just going to go back a little bit to here. The first stone was laid because I found another old photograph of this one. Wow. Uh, the, uh, the Basilic, the, the St. Nicholas Church, so first stone laid in 1885 and it was finished in 1887. Right, so they did only two days, uh, um, two years of work on this. And I showed the last time all the inside. They were magicians, weren't they? Uh, they were absolutely, it's amazing. Just absolutely fabulous. So now I found this one. This is a photograph of 1904. Wow. And I zoomed in a little bit. And you can see here that these windows are blocked. So why would you build something in two years and block the window? So that I thought that was quite an odd thing. Okay, I put that in there. And then I go back to these ones. I said last time there were warehouses. That is what uh, Google was giving me. Um, in, in Dutch, we call them pakhuizen. And they are actually storehouses. It's where all the um, acquired goods or stolen goods from uh, all the colonies were stored from silk to opium to... Uh, spices, you name it, anything that was taken, uh, uh, that was acquired with all these ships. And um, oh, I just found this photo. I love these wagons, these old wagons. Two of my children were born in one of those. Wow. Yeah, they're old, the old gypsy wagons. I love it. I wish I was still living in it. But anyway, the, um, um, as you saw the last time, the, the beams of them, they were just massive, massive old big trees. Um, Look like they're coming uh, out the roofs anyway. They're what? The beams at the top in, in yeah. that there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they need to be. And also all the other houses, not only the storehouses, uh, they have that, but all houses have that massive mm -hmm. big beams because uh, it's to to pull up uh, your goods upstairs, right? Your furniture, whatever, and here to to um, yeah, you put on a, 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 a control, is it called a, a round thing with a rope, and then you pull the stuff up. So this is what they make make of it now. They are all now modern yuppie houses and you can see there are they're scattered all over amsterdam there's plenty so many of them really a lot um they're everywhere this is also so obviously the, amsterdam was just a big port yeah basically it was and this one reminds me of the dutch cocaine factory wow i don't know if you've known but we've had a cocaine factory in Amsterdam uh, in the 19th century and uh, early 20th century. Um, this is uh, 
they said that the Netherlandse cocaine fact factory about 1900, but I think it was much bigger. Uh, we got a few photographs of that. And you know, the thing is they, they got the plant from uh, Peru. And because in Indonesia, the, the colonies were there and they were, uh, the, the ground was excellent to grow. So mainly the Dutch cocaine <laughs> was grown in Indonesia. And um, yeah, so we had these, these are all the old uh, uh, chemist pots, the opium. So all these traits, the, the, the drugs in uh, hashish, morphine, and they even had uh, arsenic. So all the, uh, all the spices, all the drugs and all the herbs, everything, Holland is a port and still is. They actually would like to make a whole, um, uh, only highways of Holland. It looks like it already now. You know, if you see Rotterdam, the harbor, and then yeah. it's just transporting everything through the rest of Europe. And it's just, yeah, hardly any ground left. So this is um, one of the few photos left of the Dutch cocaine factory. Mm. Yeah, and it was widely used in the Second World War. And I, I don't know how many soldiers died in the First World War, but they were all high on cocaine. They found records. Wow. Of them. And um, yeah, I thought here you can see. Yeah, do you know what? I, I know this might go against what a lot of people think. But the, we were bombing ourselves and they were bombing themselves to destroy all the infrastructure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's just a whole, uh, you know, get rid of people looks like it, you know. But uh, here these eyes, they really look like the eyes of our previous uh, Minister of Health. Wow. Uh, yeah, he, he's clearly similar eyes. Anyway. So yeah, it's uh, uh, drugs and Holland is uh, uh, a big thing. Yeah, you have even, they, they were distributing it to uh, England, to Germany, France. Um, we were the big suppliers and you can see here registered 1885. So that they say the cocaine factory was only from the 1900 something, but if the, the toothpaste with cocaine was already registered in 1885, it must have been there already before. Wow. Yeah. It's nice, huh? Put kids there. Oh, you eat your sugar, and if, when you get pain here, you use your cocaine uh, toothpaste. Lovely. Wow. Only 15 cents. <laughs> I, <laughs> Well, that's our history, you know, and uh, here the Royal Dutch Cocaine Factory, lovely. You know, it's, uh, it's all over the place. There, there's such, I don't know uh, um, what you would call them, but anyway, the, yeah, they would go with all the ships, pick up all the goods, and then have parties down here, I guess. Okay, there we have the creepy dude again. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, here's, um, I, I found some more photos as well from the world um, exhibition. Look at all that the mud in there, it's in the front. Yeah, I showed this photo as well the last time because it was also the Pierre Kuiper's um, uh, office that was um, part of uh, building this one and also being part of the exhibition, of course. But as you can see, it was built and it's an old photo, but this looks like not clean. I don't know. It's like not really new stone. Yeah, it looks old. Yeah. It's not, the um, whole history is totally different. Um, it's not just been built, has it? Yeah, no, it was there before. And you can see uh, this photo I showed, and I have another photo that I found where it was done. And you can see the Rijks Museum is at the other side. So everything, this building, the... It's enormous, building, isn't it? Yeah, it is massive. Look how small the people are here. Um, yeah, look at them. How small, yeah. how, how 
how tall these these uh, poles are. But this was all built within like 20 years time or something. All the big buildings, this one in a few couple of years, the, the concert building in a couple of years, the central station in a couple of years, everything was built in a couple of years. Well, I was thinking, well, if they had this cocaine factory, maybe they were all on cock and they were just nonstop working. That's another theory possible. I don't know. I don't think so. But anyway, <laughs> I thought it was quite a bit funny. Well, I think the Normandy thing, you know, with the crisscross ceilings, that's Normans. And that was about the 11th century. So these buildings are obviously a lot older. You know, they come yeah. from thousands of years ago yeah. then. It looks like it. It looks like it. And especially when, when we... Uh, detect a lot of the buildings also have an I or a J instead of a one in front mm -hmm. of their 60 nanic something. It's very obvious. Well, this was the entrance port and it looks also like a vanilla sky as if it has been, something has been wiped out. Something was behind there. I don't know what, but yeah, this is not there anymore. I don't know if they put this up temporarily or if this was an old building that was already there and they made the entrance. So it says you're welcome. That is the entrance of the World Fair, the World Exhibition. So where's the rest of it? Exactly, I have no idea. I couldn't find more photos of the exhibition. So it's not really much there. Okay, so this is what where we left last time. The uh, Palace on the Dam. Um, okay, that was built in 1648. Look at the steeple, look how tall it is. Huh? The steeple, how tall it is. Yeah, it is, it's very tall. It's a very big building. And this is broken down, I don't know. Uh, I think this was the municipality for some time. Um, the palace used to be actually a town hall before it became a palace. Um, so yeah, it was a, originally a town hall until 1808. Um, I don't know if it's a flutter, but I do know that it has, um, how you say, cellars, deep, going deep down under the ground. Yeah, we're noticing now that everything has things under the ground. Yeah, 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 more and more. And how could they have done all that with horses and carts? Yeah, oh yeah, and then... I mean, Mark, listen to this, no, Mark no, went no, to a staff huh? in America yeah, a couple no. of weeks ago, <laughs> and basically they used 21 million bricks. Wow. Yeah, I, I think I heard that. I think I saw that episode you showed. And then how could they bake those bricks in a short time? Where, where was it manufactured? Where did they come from? It's very strange. And most of them are numbered, so it's basically like you get a kit. Wow. Even that. Yeah. It's so many questions on our history. It's, it's but they weren't in futuristic stuff. These buildings aren't futuristic-like. They still look old, don't they? Yeah, this is old. And I think it is much older than what they actually say it is. So I just wonder what they'd be transporting it in. Yeah. Yeah, how, how do they get that when, when they were primitive and we actually were living well, in the You could say the, the zeppelins or heat balloons, you know, or little sort of spaceship like ships in the sky, but they'd only yeah. be able to carry so much and then you'd have hundreds of them turning up. No, there must have been absolutely giants. There must have been. And I know there have been. Then, uh, due to a flaw, we got our first Dutch monarch. And that was the little brother of Bonaparte, Napoleon. So only Ooh. back then, in the 1800s? Yeah, yes. Before, we did not have any king. Uh, he was only king for four, four years. I've changed my mind about him. It was by accident. Came across the fact that when he sort of came to England, when he was sort of surrendering, 
he went on shore and the people gave him red carnations. You know, colours and symbols, they all mean everything. You look up, red means that they adored him or loved him. And you're thinking, why? And then I found out more history that everybody was joining him and that maybe he was actually, he, he was the goody rather than the baddie, but he was a Roman emperor. Mm, you mean his brother, the, the brother of Lodewijk? Napoleon was... Napoleon, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. main dude, yes. Yeah. It's all a bit bizarre, yeah. but my whole feeling about Napoleon has changed now. But then he got yeah. sent to uh, St. Helena to his last only It's years. very difficult to... to I, I have no idea because I've also um, heard, heard these, these things and, and, you know, you see documentaries and then it makes sense and you think, yeah, sounds like he was a good one, but I don't know. I think it's all very dodgy and also... Why would um, people here give him a red carnation? But the thing is, most people don't realise that this Roman Empire thingy, Egyptian thing that's been happening, it's been going on for many, many years. And so, mm. yeah. yeah, he was part of that. But maybe he was trying to break away from the Rothschilds or whatever it was. Maybe, maybe. But, you know, if you look at this, the, the, all the medals, he's also part of the club. You know, I suppose once they go there, they can tell you what they like about them. You know, like found out Hitler was a Roman emperor. I don't know how he got to be the baddie, but um, he was one as well. So yeah. they did change whatever they want. Yeah, and if you start digging into the um, uh, the Rosicrucians and the Templars, and it goes way back to the 12th or 13th century and how they established Switzerland and what is happening there now, it's just, it's actually disgusting as well, you know, it's, and then they say Switzerland is neutral and it's like, really, that's well, what, what about this one then, this is, well, we've got to stop for two seconds, I put a video out the other day because now, supposedly, history is saying that Putin is the one that's gone into Ukraine. But in February, he said that obviously you're being invaded, so it's just you've got to look after yourselves. So he was already stating that they were already invaded and he, it was not him. And then Biden hates him and says what an evil man he is. So who is he protecting? What, the Nazi ones? Yeah, no, definitely. Do you see what I mean? Like, what is yeah. really going on here? Uh, it's, anyway. a, it's a whole dodgy, dodgy scenario, yeah. completely. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's so they not can do what, what they want, it. change what they want. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so carry on. Have, carry on, yeah. Miriam. Okay, we have Atlas on the roof. Um, Atlas is outside and he's inside. We all, all always learn Atlas is carrying the world, but actually he is carrying the universe or something, the stars, something like that. So this is inside the palace. It's all marble. It's massive. I've never been inside. I always get a very creepy kind of feeling, but I should go inside. I opened it now for public. So I should go and make some photographs and they have quite a lot of weird uh, uh, artworks in there. I know, amazing. Yeah. And yeah, it was a town hall before it became a palace. And these ones, oh look here, the, now I see that only the, the, the head of Medusa is there and the, the roof. Oh, and the El Fashis is also on there. But I find these ones really fascinating i mean i get such a sad feeling when i see them they must be so big they almost look like real giants that are just being stoned not stoned to death but stoned turned into stone i don't know it's quite uh medusa is one of the first uh, star sets that comes up at night Okay, Medusa, I didn't know that. Mm. That's interesting. And I, I think this looks like... It's really weird how their heads are set like that, isn't it? They're what? Sorry? 
it's really weird in those in the pitch you've got up that how their heads are set into yeah. the like they're a column yeah it's sad huh? it looks horrible it looks really like they're, they're punished for 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 eternity or something and here's a skull in there i really need to get into this palace and and make uh, make photos this looks like the the story of um, Solomon and the baby that gets chopped in half I don't right. know, it's quite uh, macabre images. Yeah, I find it very sad. And it has uh, very strange artworks inside. And I mean, we're coming to the conclusion that maybe some of this stuff was cast. Hmm. You know, what you think looks... It obviously made it, and so, like I said, it's like the little um, Lego set with the bricks numbered, the cast bits. But, you know, like, the attention to detail that they had. Yeah. But the, the, the statues, they're so lifelike. I, I'm just thinking about the, um, uh, the um, Buddha statue, a monarch statue, that they have x-rayed, and there is a living person inside. Yeah, that's it's there's so much we have no clue about. It's just we're just finding all these things and we have no idea. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the floor in the palace. Um, these are the stars, I guess. Oh, this is the world. I'm not sure. I couldn't really find good photographs. That's what I say. I need to go in there and check it myself. Yeah, this is the this is the stars. And the compass in there, of course. They need to mark them themselves, who are part of it. It's very interesting. I see here Venus and Scorpio, Mars and Sagittarius. So, yeah, something astrological is in there. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. This is a better image of the floor compass here but you can't really see the details so this is the zodiac ring this one very nice but uh, I think it's very old much older than they say okay let me get to the um, the palace of folks flight this was the um, uh, they say beautiful was, building. very beautiful it was inspired by the um, Crystal Palace in England. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this was also, uh, I don't know why it is called Volksflight, because Volksflight means... Very um, strange on all the old buildings. They had all this sort of statues and things on the top. Yeah, here. And then all these aerials. That's beautiful, huh? It looks almost like an engine. <laughs> yeah. And the um, the balance of it, the, the, the harmony. The size of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's massive. And you can see... Yeah, what we do is we can just throw one of those up. It won't take long. No, they just... just uh, the, let me see. The construction finished in 18... 64 i'll go one slide back it was or oh, they started in 59 and it was finished in uh 64 so five years well easy huh? <laughs> at the same time that all the other buildings were constructed right yes yes enough manpower mm. you know they were just all uh, going on it's probably all on coke just carrying on yeah, <laughs> no sleep. <laughs> yeah, and, and here it looks also like there's, it's like it should have been taller somehow. If the water level was lower, then what is below here? Hmm. Mm. We can't go there anymore. It's not there anymore. All these houses also. Oh, they knocked that one down, did they? That beautiful building, and they managed to just knock it. Oh, right, knock that down. Yeah. Well, it burnt. Glass and steel. It burnt. It and burnt. It, yes, it burnt. 
in um, 1929 it burned. Is that what happened to Crystal Palace? Also burned, glass and steel, mm. just burned, yeah, convenient. Look at that, they, they put up, on, this was in 1869, so look at the massive amount of trees. I mean, okay, it's a drawing, but um, it was part of the exhibition. All the uh, plants that they were taking from all the different colonies, of course. South America, Indonesia, I don't know, South, America, uh, South Africa, all the tropical plants. But big, look at how small the people are compared to how, how mm. tall the plants are. I mean, that must have been something. You had to walk in there and look how, how high the, the sides are. These, all these buildings, right, in these exhibitions, they've been used as exhibitions, and but they were obviously with something else, and they've all been knocked mm. down. Yeah. Yeah. In case people like us find out the truth, mm. I guess. Can't have that. No. So beautiful. What a loss, uh, what a world we have lost, really. You can see here, why are these windows, um, is it for airing the floor? Below the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very weird. But no, maybe store places. But look at that, how big. Uh, of course, the English flag is in there as well. But this is inside the, the, the Dutch exhibition palace. I mean, it's massive, it's so high. Just build it in five years' time and then glass. Wow. glass, glass and steel. Mm. Not many photographs is here again. Do you think that was a train station? Um, no, it looks like it. The train station, the central station looks like a little bit like that, but no. Um, not for the place where it was, because it was um, close to the city wall. And I don't think there was a train station. If if you have like the outer ring, you remember the outer ring of the city wall? Then no, the train can't. station is here, if you see the mouse. And then the, the train goes here. And then the city wall would go like that. Oh, sorry. I'll click. Anyway, these are some of the photographs of the dudes that were in charge of the exhibition place. I thought they were sitting quite awkward with their hands inside. <laughs> mm. The one with the left hand and the other one with the right hand. He looks a the little bit The one on like the far that. right looks a bit weird. He's not even looking. This one. No, the one on the other side. Right on the other side. This one, uh, he is sitting. Yeah, the one with the one that's got light coloured trousers on him. Look, he's not even looking. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're all very weird looking dudes. There were quite a lot of photographs, but I only found two that I thought they were quite funny because he also the hat. Magicians' hats, they were magicians, yes. <laughs> they don't look like they built that building, did they? Do they? No, 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 no. No. They wished. And then here you have another one. This this guy is putting his fingers, only his fingers, sort of awkwardly inside his coat. And this one is pointing to him. Look, yeah, yeah, it's this dude. So I thought this was such a weird photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they look quite old, don't they? Like Abraham Lincoln or something. They, they, look, huh? they look like that. They're, they have a little bit that style hairstyle, beard style, all, all this fluffy stuff on the side. But yeah, no, very weird looking dudes. Anyway. Um, this I found also very strange. It looks like these people are ghosts or they're like shadows. As if they're not really in there. You see that? Mm -hmm. oh, it's, it's like really weird, but how big is this thing? Why does it need to be that big? And there, people up there. I mean, it's, it, this place is huge. 
Mm. Massive. And then, um, yeah, here you can see the, the flooring. I don't know, they, they looks like a coffee house because they it have It doesn't look very nice out the front there, does it? This, the front of this one. Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, what they just built that? Rubble. It's all rubble in front. Very strange. I don't know, it looks like... It's already not, abandoned. <laughs> something like that, yeah. And uh, they only put up a coffee house here. Uh, let me see, what is that? Um, Sonnefunk? I've no idea. What's the thing on the left then, Miriam, in the ground? This. It, uh, I think it's a fountain. But it looks like overgrown. Right. So, it's, it's, it's just puzzling. Like, what, what the, what's going on here? So, oh. and then here you can see how, how tall the gallery was. Tall windows, beautiful, beautiful cast eye. You know, uh, I took a photograph of it a little Yeah, bit. amazing, lovely. Yeah, yeah, a little kid. There's a kid that play, playing hide and seek. It must be amazing to play around there. And then here you can see it's like griffins with his fishtail wings or dragons. I don't know. It's beautiful. And, and lamps. I don't know if it's electricity or gas lamps, but they have mm -hmm. light. And then, There's a little light bulb yeah. up there. I think they've got light bulbs. Yeah. It really was... Uh, 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 how you say that really tolling above everything out is very tall, very mm -hmm. big building, very big. Here you can see, well, yeah. Ah, oh, that uh, this must have been the um, the fountain we just saw. So it looked really odd. Why would they over let it overgrown? It's like they weren't finished with cleaning it up or something. Very strange. Mm. How gridded everything is. How what? It's all in all the houses and everything. It's all in grids. Yeah. Very um, straight. Most of these ones are not there anymore. This is the Amstel. Oh, it's such a shame. Uh, this Frederick's plan. Oh, you must see what is there now. It's just horrible. And uh, they had, uh, it must have been something, eh, to go with an uh, air balloon. And mm. look at that. Look at this building. You said the other day that looked like as if that is for um, zeppelins, but maybe it was also to, to get off with your balloon. Or yeah, he lives a bit close to the buildings, doesn't he? And then they got the Mandela sky. Yeah, the vanilla sky. Vanilla sky. Vanilla sky, yeah. No cloud in the sky, nothing. Oh, and this is the uh, architect of it, Cornelis Altshorn. And very interesting because this guy, he had no schooling. He had only primary school. He also was part of the uh, Rex Museum. He did also the drawings for that. So I, he has also a medal. But can you imagine? He did, um, he's the architect of it of the palace, the Crystal Palace, and he had went up in flames, maybe because he was only, uh, had only primary school education. He did something wrong and it got up in flames. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, this was uh, April. Oh, just like the Notre Dame. That went up in flames, didn't it? Well, it only partly went up in flames, didn't it? Not completely. But uh, yeah, it, it burned down completely. And I think this is the Amstel Hotel. I'm not, not sure. I think it is. We'll get closer to that because that is the same architect with his primary school education was able to draw this. Mm. Can you imagine? Yeah. It's, it's really... So it went down 
fire in 1929, April 1929. And um, yeah, it just burned glass and steel. Absolutely fascinating. Good for fires, it. that is. <laughs> Massive fire. Huh? Yeah, gone. Bye bye, beauty. Yeah. yeah, very sad. Now we have this in place. Well, it's also glass and steel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this, is the, this is the Dutch bank. Yeah. yeah. That's what is standing there in, in place. And here were beautiful houses. I went on to school here. It was my primary school. This is a new building. Um, and I remember the buildings that were here. It was really, really exciting to go in there. You know, there were, uh, no one was living in there anymore. There were beautiful buildings, but like the staircases were quite dangerous because it had wood worm in it and whatever. And I remember when this got opened, they used us kids to walk around this three times. And I felt like this is not right. I was in a nursery class. So I must have been like five or six or something. Can I ask you something? Um, was that canal there with the original building? Or have they put that this canal one? in? This one they built in. Yeah, this one they built in. Mm. Because this is where the fountain was. Right. But this, the the Dutch, um, the Dutch. This is the Dutch bank. They say this is where all the gold lays deep down under the ground, and they have a water lock. So if you try to steal, you will drown. Something like that. Do you know what we've kind of worked out that the only reason that you have to get planning permission and all that is that they just need to know that your house isn't sitting on top of something else. You know, you're, you, they can do what they like. They can, they can knock down all those beautiful buildings. But if you want to do anything on your house, you have to get permission. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, and they're psychopaths. They're empowered. It's just like, what? You know, I, it's, I don't know. It's just, we're Jane in on such them. a weird world. It's very sad. Yeah. But yeah, this is what we have in place now. Ugh. And I really felt, you know, felt not right that we were using. So when was children. that built then? Hmm? When was that building built? Um, I don't know, but it was in the early 60s, uh, somewhere right. or mid 60s. It was uh, taken in, in use. Not sure what date, what year, but somewhere there. Maybe 64, 65, somewhere there. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Very sad. Okay, so this is the Amstel building, which the same architect um, was able to draw. Look at that. It's an absolute flutter. Also, this, um, also the same architect, Cornelis Outhorn. Outward, who did the um, only primary school? He did only primary school, and he's able to be an architect of a building like this. The Amstel Hotel. He didn't right? make that building, did he? No, he drew it. He's the architect. But you know, to be an architect, you you need to study uh, not only just primary school. I wonder if you could find the plans to what he really drew, because. Those windows are halfway under the pavement or the ground. Yeah. Well, the thing is with, with um, uh, architects' drawings, the possibility is, is that they ju we're just drawing them of the existing building. Because if you find drawings from architects, it does not mean that they really drew them, um, that they were the... Um, uh, I said the original um, yeah. uh, drawers, you know, maybe they were just making the measurements and then put it onto paper and said, yeah, I'm the architect. But that doesn't, the, the windows are different, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, and this is so strange, below ground level. 
It's very weird, very strange. And um, uh, this is the, um, the uh, how do you say, the founder. He founded, he was also the founder of the, the uh, Glass Palace, or the, the, the Palace for Volkswagen, the one that burned down. And he, uh, he founded many, many buildings, but he was a chemist and a philanthropist. So, you know, now we know a philanthropist has, mm, I'm not so sure about being a philanthropist, if that's such a good thing, and chemist, uh, Dr. Samuel Sarfati, um, chemist, I think he was more of a uh, drugs dealer. You know, if you see what they were all bringing in. I mean, where did he get all the money from to build that hotel, build the palace and many more? Look at, he paid for it, right, as a doctor. I mean, that's quite something. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have to chuckle, but it's not really funny. No, it's it's <laughs> yeah, no, it is funny actually. It's, yeah, but it's it isn't. Yeah, it's just wow. Really... Just become a doctor and you can get one of them. Yeah, <laughs> you can get anything you want. <laughs> oh God! Um, this and hotel... that building's probably built onto the side of the water as well as well in the water because here the the amstel goes i think around here is like 10 meters deep there are certain parts where the amstel goes that deep so how deep are the foundations of the amstel hotel any rock star or movie star or any other person that you know, wants I think to be in limelight really they always stay here in the amstel hotel I sometimes feel when we watch this, there's no way they built the canal and then the hotel. The hotel was built and the canal was built on afterwards. It looks like it, huh? How, how... It's with, with a lot of houses in Amsterdam. I was questioning that already as a kid. How do they build these houses in the water? How, how do they do that? Okay, a lot have been built on top of poles. You know, a lot of wooden poles because it is to make the ground solid so they can build something on it. But it's, it looks like it is absolutely the other way around. So, yeah, more and more questions. Ah, and this is another gem oh, that doesn't exist anymore that has, okay, this was built, this was the pedagogy. When you look at that, do you think it looks a little bit Med Middle Eastern? Yeah, as well. And I think there was a lot of Middle Eastern influences as well in a lot of uh, old buildings. Um, this was the panoramic, panorama building. So they had some exhibition going around in it. And it stood only for. Oh my goodness, I know what that is. Yeah. It's a cyclorama. Ah, something like that, yeah. And, and of course, you know, I've, I've seen that before. Someone was commenting on one of the other channels, like the usual uh, card with uh, in front. I think it was um, um, John Lee Levy. You know, they, they always put like a cart, uh, a cart in front of a building like that. Like, yeah, these were the builders of it, something like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so this only stood for a short time. It was, um, let me see, it was, I think I put it down there. Oh, is that gone as well then? Yeah, yeah. The demolished in... Um, 1935 and it was built as they say in 87 so that is three and so only 38 years. Wow. Only for 38 years can you believe that i don't no i don't believe this for a bit it looks like there's someone standing here but no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. That's. I, I don't think it was that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. 
Strength. Well, you never know in these pictures, do you? No, exactly. You, you really don't know. But yeah, it's such a pity. Such is a that pity. word on the wall? Is that in the wall or is oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, in the back. Huh? Yeah, something. But I don't know what they did. The harem? D what, a hari? A harem? <laughs> yeah, the harem. <laughs> The harem? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's a harem in Amsterdam. All right. Yeah, only 38 years. Wow. Mm. It's disgraceful, well, isn't it? It looks older than 38 years to me. But, uh, mm. yeah, it makes sense uh, to build some, some beauty like this and then break it down after 38 years. Absolutely makes sense. It's... Uh, yeah, quite sad, but it's gone. Well, they're fun. These are only the only photos that are, that are there from it. Okay, now we have the blue bridge. That the, the blue bridge has quite some interesting um, history as well. This is the old one. We have only a um, painting of that. Then um, the earliest photograph is this, which looks like the Magerbrug, but it isn't. The Magerbrug is a little bit more to the right. This is definitely the place where the, the, the new Blue Bridge is now, because we have the Moses and Aaron Church here. You can see that. Uh, this is all broken down. Um, this is now the Blue Bridge as it is. Let me just go a little bit quick through it. Yeah, you can see it's built. My grandfather was a stone hauer. He made stones for the bridge and my great grandfather as well. So I know they built that. Um, all these buildings are gone. Uh, oh, I remember this house. I used to play here a lot. Is that when I was a kid? <laughs> yeah, I've got quite a lot of history here in this in this uh, with this bridge. Okay. Lovely buildings. There was nothing wrong with them, and they destroyed yeah. them. Just destroy it. And yeah, this bridge is not that old. It might be 150 years now, something like that, I guess. And here's Carré, that, uh, that used to be the circus theater. Uh, it's now just normal theater. The stables, uh, they did something to the stables so they can't have animals there anymore. And that's not allowed either anymore, the, having animals in the circus somehow. Um, let me see uh, here, the stone. There were stonemasons, they were, stone they were uh, from my mom's side, they were gypsies from Central Asia. They made all the, uh, the stonework. Uh, a lot of my family didn't survive the Second World War. But yeah. Cool. Still, still able to make that. Um, the attention to detail. Yeah, yeah. And that's all wiped out. Literally, the people that were able to make it and the um, buildings, although the, the blue bridge is still there. So now we get here, they started breaking it down. Um, the really all this is gone now. I was trying to find some work. Come, come, come. This was on the crowning, the crowning of Beatrix when she became queen. This was in 1980. This is on the Blue Bridge. We fought that day because there were still a lot of people that had survived the, the Second World War and knew that the, the, the monarchs sitting on the throne are actually... Um, illegal on the place. They, they left the country, they deserted the country, and then also, uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's 
just not right. This is what is now in place. This is the uh, the stopra and the, the municipality is on that side and this is the stopra. The ballet and the opera is now instead of all the other beautiful buildings. And the blue bridge by night. Give it some blue light to make it a blue bridge. And some more photos. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You remember the one building, I think I put it back here. Yeah, this building, what I said, the, the first social housing. The day, this day, they wrote a tank. This day, early, early morning, a military tank. They came with a military tank to drive into this house because it was being squatted. And there were so many empty houses and so many people looking for um, uh, a house. No, and the, we still have the same problem. This is Amsterdam. We still have the same problem. All the big houses here, they're mainly empty. Here you can see the stock ground. All the big old houses, they're mainly empty. They're like either offices or there are um, uh, investments from foreigners. So yeah, and here you have the, this is the Rex Museum. So yeah, I think this is the last picture. Yes, it is. Wow. That was it. Woo! Well, we've got to 51 minutes, but oh, I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much. I hope you didn't it, did enjoy that, yeah. Do you think then that, that um, <clears throat> Amsterdam has been built up? The actual city itself is all built like... Um, uh, can't think of the other place now. Uh, yeah, Venice. On water. Um, I'm not sure because the, the first records that have been written down about Amsterdam are the 13th century. I uh, wonder who came in in that time. I mean, you know, the, the, in the 13th century, a lot of places were taken over. Um, close to the Dam Square, there was in the, I think, late 60s, a hotel got uh, burned down. And they found, I think I, I, I told it in the first presentation, a, a foundation uh, was found that went so deep they, they, they had no records of that. So they closed mm. it because they couldn't, they didn't fit the history. So. Has it made you think um, like, well, I, I know even more now, or does it surprise you looking up all this stuff? No, 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 no. This was mainly all stuff that I knew. I found a few more things, but um, I did inspire a friend of mine. She went out and found already Tractarian buildings and made some photos. So, yeah, um, I want to get out and actually photograph what I know and what is very interesting um, to show before it's all gone. Because they're, people they're busy. don't realize Miriam is she changed people's lives when she came on a hangout last year at some time. I can't remember how, quite how long ago it was, and showed with her own pictures that the roads went into the sea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't find that anymore because they really literally covered it up with sand and created a whole new uh, nature reservoir there. Because <laughs> you have the normal pier. And then you have these um, in that particular corner, and it's uh, going into a complete different direction. It actually points into the direction of the island Friesland, but that's a little bit further past England, I guess. I don't know. Looked more like it was going into Doggerland. Do you think Doggerland bit was a bit more like? We joined to you, and it was a causeway there, mm. but the seas didn't meet. I think so. I, you know, I think we had. I don't world... think it was all round England, and it was this great big. I just, but obviously, with your pictures, we joined Holland. Yeah, 
and and I think also a world that we had before um, it was not all this power hunger people as they want fighting. to leave you know and fighting and having it war. was about looking after the people and it trundling yeah. along and Good. Imagine you just go out and, and you can just eat the fruits that you find on the way. You don't need to worry about the roof over your head. And they were and looking after the people because the castles were storing all the goods. Mm. They weren't yeah, fighting, they were when... storing goods. Yeah. Now, it was only when they started with, with, with their greed and starting plundering all these beautiful paradise places and... and colonizing them and stealing everything away not just the goods but also even the people the beautiful women everything it's just oh. and then there is more land that we don't know of as well i i think yeah because if you take the if you take the globe then why is on the other side of the globe all water if it is just stretched out Aren't there more islands? Well, I've said this before. Um, the UN are using a map, and on that they've got this grid thing, which is kind of like a Union Jack. Mm. So they know that we're on some kind of star map. And then one of the legs is South America, one of them is Africa, one of them is Australia, and the other one is the Pitcan Islands. But there's a great big bit of sea there with nothing in it. Yeah, no, exactly. And there's a lot of um, um, all these massive uh, ruins that uh, they have found in at the bottom of oceans. Also somewhere at uh, the, the coast of Japan. These incredible big constructions, like pyramid size, mm. even bigger. Well, I found like in Miami, sorry, at the bottom of Florida, this, it, was a, it wasn't a, it was just a lady talking. They basically said they found a bit of a forest out about 20, 30 miles out in the sea. And she just said, sometimes the land changes. Water comes, water goes. Mm. Yeah, Tsunamis were, you know, like it's going to leave where it's been and then it's going to go somewhere else. So if that's happening a few times, it's going to completely change the environment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also the massive deforestation, not just the, the, the small trees that we see they have built these houses with and all the shit. I mean, I had to hang out with our melted reality, as you know. Mm, yeah, we, I mean, all that's been burnt by heat. So what went on? And then, you know, it used that fort he went to used to be in water and it isn't now. Yeah. Now we have lots and lots of questions. Anyway, the history books are not what they said. Uh, they're, they're, they're very different from the reality. They are, um, Miriam, they are. Anyway, we've yeah. done an hour nearly. Do you want to yeah, we, stop? Yeah, talking? let's do that. And then, uh, because otherwise it's dragging on. And, uh, uh, hey, Miriam, everybody likes long. watching a bit of Miriam. <laughs> 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 we want part four now. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, anyway yeah. for this hangout thank yeah. you so much for and you're a historian now not just an astrologer okay well uh, i would like to do also an um an, an, uh, a hangout on uh what is going on with the modern planets uranus neptune and pluto because i don't use them in my astrology and for a reason and i think that's also quite nice to um um we can do that if you want to. Hmm? We can have a hangout about that if you want to. Yeah, I think that would be very nice. Or oh, I wouldn't mind you showing a bit more of your dad's book. Oh, that would be very nice as well. Yeah, I've got now an, uh, a printer so I can... Let me see. Ooh, I've got it laying here. So, you, I can show it there. And um, yeah, no, this has beautiful... It has all the different old ports as well. Well, he got all the images from the archives. So I could dive into the archives myself and, and get in there. But it's, it's yeah, it's very nice. Mm. I've got also, let me see. I've got, oh, I can 
show you something really funny. Um, let me see here. Let me go in the oh uh, web stuff. I've got a little old film from. Um, let me see where I go. See, I've got lots of material to show you. Uh, <coughs> um, here we go. I don't think we are able to. This is quite funny. I don't think we are able to um, show it. Uh, get the sound of it. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. I need to. Um, I need to screen share. I guess again. Sorry, my dog's going loopy in the background now because my daughter must be taking her out for a walk. Oh. So Floss is a little dog, but she's having kittens. Okay, this is Amsterdam, 1922. Let me just show you. Uh, Do you see? One second, it says Star Connections is presenting. So one second. Oh. Yeah, it's there now. Okay, I'll just switch off the sound of this film but this is yeah it's quite quite cute well it's, it's a bit long it's how many it's 10 minutes but yeah this was amsterdam 1922 <laughs> it's so nice to see all these people yeah i just gonna go a little bit further would you like are yeah, you free that. or are you some slave That's so cute. Dancing on the street. Let me see. You see here already the whole, these houses. It's quite incredible. But yeah. Here also the trams. It's quite an art to go off the tram rails because when you get stuck with your bicycle wheel, you know, it's all. Oh, you get on the floor. You you fall hard. But yeah. Well, me and Mickey is... did a, a video on um, penny farthings. We think they were race bikes. Oh, nice. You know, you weren't finding hundreds and hundreds of people riding them because if you hit a stone or something, it'd fling you off. Right. Oh, that is heavy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these the, those are these uh, bicycles with the one big wheel yeah. and a small wheel. Yeah. I switch it off again. I mean, it's just yeah, it was just. An, well, uh, thanks for sharing us that. It's always nice when you see older stuff of where mm. you were. All right, let's say bye, and then we'll do something. Okay, for the hangout, again. but I'll say goodbye to you afterwards, Miriam. But yes. we'll say goodbye on the hangout. Thank you so much for your well, intriguing journey through Amsterdam. That was my pleasure. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, she Miriam's put all that together and we've got done part three. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miriam, my all chat right. room. Bye-bye.